I was. I was And 24th is Tuesday. 24th. 17th would be two weeks after, though. Yeah, so the 3rd and the 17th. Okay. 3rd and the 17th. Or unless, is that school vacation? It is. Yeah. Um, so if we want to do the 3rd and then revisit, or the 24th? 24th. I don't have kids in school. I'm good with it. The 24th, I'm okay yeah. right now. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, all right. This should officially open because now we're on camera. All right. I'd like to officially call to order the March 21st meeting of, uh, 2018 meeting of the Bolton Conservation Commission. And as always, we'll start with the roll call. I am Brian Barabee. I am Jeff Bryan. Emily Winner. All right, the Bolton Conservation Commission will now continue a public hearing under the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40, and under the Bolton Wetland Bylaw, Chapter 233, to consider uh, the notice of intent proposed by Brandon Ducharme for 258 Hudson Road public meeting to be held this evening. All right, Brandon Ducharme, Ducharme Dillis, here on behalf of Keys Farm. And we opened up in December, we've been kind of, um, we had the site walk and we've been leaving it open um, as the planning board hearing has been open. Um, prior to the last planning board meeting, we received comments from your board. I think maybe last, last meeting you discussed um, locating a proposed trail, which I think this is kind of like the last issue. Um, this is Danforth here. This is obviously Hudson Road, Century Mill, heading towards 117. Danforth has open space because that was also an open space development that kind of comes through here. Um, our open space is up in the back. There's a section that carries all the way through to Hudson Road, and there's another segment here. And what we understood um, that we wanted to do here was basically connect this open space through to th this open space. Um, we went to the planning board meeting. Basically, we're not against that. Um, we conditioned, we were able to close that public hearing. And one of the conditions was that we figure out the best location for the trail. And basically, instead of just showing an easement, you know, to connect this up down this lot line and through here, we kind of wanted to get out, take a look at the field, and just make sure we're, once you put it on a plan, that it's actually going to work. Right. Uh, so I figured if I can kind of look at that. Again, this, this is Hudson Road here. This, this is the Danforth uh, open space. And in the letter, kind of referred to coming down, this is, this is a drainage basin here. This is a berm, it's basically, basically yeah. bermed up. And it's gonna be an access way here for future maintenance of that berm. So it kind of makes sense, and it's kind of a good point to, to bring the trail in through here, cross the berm, get it out to the back, and then run it up. Um, so one, one of the concerns with that, just with the board's proximity to this abutting house here, um, having been out here, and I know that <coughs> there is a pretty good grade change okay. there, um, but, but obviously it is tight. Um, and then coming through here, this is lot seven, 16 and 17, you know, maybe bringing a trail across down this lot line. Obviously we've got a wetland system that comes through here, and we're just kind of feathering something, something through like that. Are there any um, restrictions on how close that has to be to that house there? I mean, is there like a setbacks? Or there are no trail setbacks no. or anything like that. So it's just All I can give you is kind of the history of that. I mean, where he probably knows as well. I mean, up at um, Fox Run, you know, I think that was where, like, on paper, there was a lot of trails that were agreed to, and there was one that was, like, 25 feet off of somebody's bed yeah. window. And I don't think those trails even ended up getting built I don't think because so of it. And there's the other one, I don't know if you remember the one up on uh, Powder Mill. Um, there was one that we had a problem with that kept taking the signs down yep. where it ran through. Um, you know, actually, like I said before, I've got one that goes through my backyard. Luckily, I have a brook between us. I really feel sorry for the people on the other side of um, Harris Farm. It runs through two people's back, backyards. 
and you know, it's not a constant, but when they, they go through, they go through with dogs and whatever, and you know, it's, it's an issue with, with people. So the further away or a buffer or something that it's better. Yeah. <coughs> so I guess, first of all, that's kind of what I understood was the desire. I didn't realize it was a house there when we talked about it. Yeah, and then yeah. it's yeah. like kind of yeah. 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 Right. And I think it would be good. It's trying to trying to think of the best best way to do this. Because that would yeah, that whole route made a lot of sense, but I don't want to put Yeah, just because you can walk there doesn't mean you should walk can there. You, right. Can you cut it through through the yeah. lot? Through that lot? You know, diagonal Coming from maybe like straight through here. So they bring it up more so into the trees. Oh, clo closer to this house? Yeah, I don't I'm I i do not know what the grade is, but I just didn't know it's the even if it, option. Yeah, even if it, up and down. Yeah. It does a loop around without getting into their so backyard. I, 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 don't I don't know, know what's That's kind of why I threw these. I don't know what's in there. That's yeah. 114 feet. Okay. So, it's close no matter how you yeah, yeah, there's no way. It's not that far, it's not, I it's guess. Not, yeah. it's, it's no, it's kinda, not. Um, and then this one would be 85 feet, which still, you know. So that looks like it's about I, 25 feet then. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, they might as well sit there and have, you know, have a cup of them. Do they have beer? <laughs> but that seems a bit close, and I don't know what they want, we want to antagonate. Antagonate. Is that a word? Antagonize. Antagonize, antagonate. antagonate you know, the. Because um, I don't know if, you, if, if we do something like that, do we have to let them know that. I would think, and, going that's, there? and that's kind of, we didn't, we didn't want to get the play board closed their hearing, but um, the hope was. And the discussion was that we were going to condition it based upon working this out. Yeah. Um, the way the decision was written, it seems like they kind of want, even though they, we said in the meeting that, that what made it into the uh, record is they want to see this easement trail on the endorsed plans, which is probably only hopefully a few weeks away. Because, um, I mean, one of the concerns from the applicant was, okay, we, we're not against having a trail. It was so, okay. You guys. Right. Uh, no, no, no. Which is the civil? I know. Yeah. No, but I mean, uh, oh, our this client. is not the applicant. No, no, no. no. But yeah. our clients concerned. I mean, obviously, we've gone through great time and expense getting this approval. Yeah. They don't want this guy to appeal the suit, but yeah, they he, just stop over this thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Can't say they blame you, but we should have a better talk to him. Here's another well, question. Yeah. yeah. This is is this phase two? So it's not. This would be. Really nice. Or is this the But that's um, the lot lines aren't on. This is Edinger. Okay, never mind then. Which goes all the way through, and I don't know yeah. if um, it's kind of just it's this piece of here that kind of okay. goes through. All right, never mind then. Spoiled. So I'm not sure where that trail is. I mean, I know at the hearing mm -hmm. there was a lot of talk about there's a nice trail over here with the Boy Scouts. So it actually comes this way, okay, right yeah. along the pond. Actually, you can see it. Yeah, it does. It does yeah, kind of hug yeah. the stone wall. Um, yep, yeah, it comes out here. Yeah. And then it hugs the stone wall and hooks okay. up. Um, actually, you cross over, you cross through this, and then you come this way, and then you cross another stone wall and keep going um, to the Barrett's Hill Peak. Yeah, really nice to tie in. Yeah. yeah. Um, my other thought is, and I understand the close proximity of the house and that we would want to avoid that at all possible cost. Yeah. But like we've seen with the other properties as part of the Danforth development, they create their own private trails too to go through um, to connect to the conservation area. And I think not only is it for the public to use, but I'd like to direct these people or whomever may live here to use a trail that's already existing instead of cutting through Edmund property because I know I haven't had that conversation with them about any sort of formal access. Um, and that's potentially maybe we can approach them and ask them, you know, can we put an easement here so we're just going along the corner and going in. That's possible now looking at this, but I haven't had those conversations while I've had them. So that may be something else. But that, I don't think that would meet the timeline you're like for planning. Yeah, of course, that's a bigger conversation. But where, 
I know I briefly mentioned on the phone the other cart path or parking area. Where is that on this? So um, you can see it coming right up through here. Okay, so this so is the come, open comes space. Right up. Yeah, so that's in the open space. I mean, right now it comes up th through this lot because I mean, obviously this, this septic area is on the trail. So, but you, you could come in, you know, bring it's, something down through here. This is a, a private unattached residence to this. Correct. Yeah. Okay. It's part of the subdivision, but yeah, that's that's this is on. Can we flip? Oh, yeah. so Sorry, that's no, 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 so you can see. Uh, I, no, I'm sorry, flip that to the other, the bigger oh, map. Yeah. yeah, I just want to see where that, where that goes in, this right? Is, this is that lot. Yeah. yeah. Access comes right in through here. Oh, so it is part of the development then. Is that, yeah. is that the old Bible House? No, that's okay. This is right there. here. Okay. There's, there's also, I mean, it's kind of close to this guy, but there's a car where that kind of comes in through here. Right now there's a trail that comes right along through out here, and then it comes all the way down along this wet ditch. Okay. Is that what they use, you see on 85 that they use for logging before? That's that's this one. Yeah. yeah. So to me, if we can't, or even if we could, and I would prefer having access through here, but understanding that that's close. Um, is come in because that may have room for like oh, where are we? up here uh, one dirt parking area off the road there and then come in because there's already a cart path it's in the buffer area but it's not going through wetland like we saw there'd be a potential issue for right. it right yeah and it would open up access back here and as much as i hate to say it leave this maybe not formalized for now and maybe reach out and see if that says if I'm gonna have it yeah. again. Oh. Yeah, I'm wondering if uh, it makes sense to get this path out to here. You know, even if it just dead ends. Right. Get it out to here for hopefully in the future if we get something and there's a you know a different way to do it. Mm -hmm. But the, I mean we're already gonna have a long to there so it just goes to the back and then you said if the car path cuts in we can connect stuff in the future, right. you know, if situations change, and if we could loop something around the back, that'd be perfect. Well, I'm just looking at our, on, on, on this section over here. Okay, the distance up here. My personal feeling is this is unsold property. Anybody buying into this? already know that they're going to buy into whatever. If there's, a, if there's a path going in here, they're buying into it already. This guy, he didn't buy into this. Yeah. So you I don't want to upset him. I don't want to upset him. No. Yeah, These close. people, when they're buying into it, they're going to know that there's a conservation trail going behind them. their house. Yep. That's what they're buying into. That's their problem. It's not his problem. So if you're going to put a path in, I'd do it on this property, not upset that property. That's my personal. No, that would make yeah, sense. I think you're right. Yeah. I think we were, if there's someone to get it that way. And I, I would 100% agree. I think the reason why, I forget who pointed out, but the drainage easement was already there. Mm -hmm. So we we're like, oh, sure. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That house was. Yeah, but that house is really yeah. way too close. Yeah. I mean, for the, whoever's buying there, it would be nice to connect up to that other subdivision with the kids and everything. Yeah. So we have to get mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, just, it's hard when you already live there and all of a sudden you got people walking mm -hmm. through your yard. Mm -hmm. Where if you right. move in and you got a trail there, it's like, this is awesome, which it is awesome. Yeah. But right. it's just and the other thing is, it's just, just for playing this out. It's, it's tough with the open space when you go down on the one acre lots. Mm -hmm. you, you know, the lots do get tight, you know, yards yeah. and everything there. So it's going to impact somebody's house. It will. So. Yeah. And when they buy it, they know it. Right. Yeah. So wherever you are, I still think it's going to be beneficial to kind of take a look at the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To see if it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But does it, I don't know, the thing, if we do try to bring it in, like you said, from, try to bring it in from this side mm -hmm. to get around back, and just, I mean, this is still open space, right? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there's no easement yeah. necessary. So in the future, we could always carry something out more or try to like I said, talk to the end just to see if we can run something on the back. It would be really nice. Yeah. And especially if we could, that would loop them right out, still coming out, at least close enough in. Yeah. Yeah, this, I mean, this would be a perfect spot to have come in. It's in the buffer zone, but you know, if you were going to do a parking area. Yeah, I was just looking at upland area because you're, you don't want to dump someone right into the wetland in there. Go ahead. Park, park right here, yeah. Um, yeah, it's all, all uplands through here, but it, you just are, you know, there's two wetland areas here, so you can have the buffer zone to come Right, but we wouldn't be putting in It'd be dirt. a parking lot. It'd be a dirt. Level dirt. Yeah, you tried improving it a little bit, but yeah. But yeah. But yeah, yeah. Be it, it would be a redevelopment anyway. Yeah. Because if anybody's driven in there, it's uh, there's some construction debris, TVs. Mm -hmm. I think because <laughs> of the TVs. Yeah. yeah. So it's being used. But it's, it's, uh, yeah. Today. It's a convenient spot to lose things. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, well, to be on public car And I think that yeah. that's another reason to maybe use that space to create a use for it, so it doesn't dumping site or right. whatever it's being used as currently. Yeah. Um, you know, create a little bit more visibility to it. Because if it's monitored through all this app to write yeah. stuff. Yeah, if there's a conservation sign there at the end, I don't think someone's going to come dump a TV in there. Yeah, and if they do, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think. Um, all, all right, right. so. A quick question. Yeah. Actually, to do with that, more to do with this property project as a whole. When we were out there, there were some things like that, where there's old TVs or farm debris, but not, I mean, I wouldn't want you to dig up an entire farm dump because those can be expensive and you know, it causes more disturbance sometimes. Um, but in terms of the newer material that's been placed there, that's all getting cleaned out, correct? as part of this project moving forward? Uh, that has not been brought up. Okay. If if it was termed visible debris, does that... Yeah. I, I, like you said, you, you can run into some ugly things out there. Um, but it is a good point that there are some, some big TVs out there. I'm trying to think some of the other things we saw. Yeah, and it is in, from what I remember, in some of the open space, I don't know if it all is, um, but I would hate to say, yes, we accept it, but now we take on the burden of removing the TV for old tractor parts, old car parts. Yeah, a lot of it's, I think, I mean, it's to, quite frankly. You're talking about right, 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 right. Yeah, it's all, it's yeah. all right here. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of the Bonazoli, old Bonazoli properties, they had a construction company. So I know the same thing across the street when, when we did that one. Yeah. Henderson's. Yeah. Yeah. Because they were extract there's a lot of just uh, old precast stuff, which is obviously not hazardous in any way, but so yeah. some of it probably could be broken up and deposited and you know, cleaned up. If we were uh, if we were to go out there to take a look, mm -hmm. could we log some of the stuff and just list some stuff? Yeah. Possible. Yeah. That's right. If we, if we have some of the bear, like the TVs, yeah. if we can either take a picture or two and list the specific items. So it's, it's limited like to a certain extent of what oil you know. stuff that dripped into the land. And, you know, like he hopes not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I, I, you know, it's it's not it's not it's so you, yeah, yeah, no, deep deep you're, you're going to find an old car yeah. under there somewhere if you dig deep enough. But yeah. I mean, it didn't look too bad along those lines. Mr. Chairman, Martha Remington, I live at 447 Main Street. Uh, I recall that up at Drumlin Hill project, there was a lot of refuse there that was never dug up. I guess the developer didn't want to risk getting into a brownfield, all kinds of old farm equipment and stuff. And I don't think we should let things that are in that shape be developed until they're cleaned up. I mean, that's a high-end uh, development up there. And the fact, that, and I believe it's on conservation land that this refuse is all there. Drumlin Hill. That's Drumlin Hill. The Northwood subdivision, Martha? Yeah. Pardon? The Northwood subdivision? Yeah. I wasn't aware of that. Do you know oh, where yeah. that is? Or? Uh, 
Uh, well, I know who told me about it. Who lives there? <coughs> and supposedly, I guess it was supposed to be cleaned up, and never has been. But I can speak with Rebecca and give her details. Can we stay on this? Yeah. Let's to some other. What's that? Okay, I was just wondering whether we can stay on this one and maybe pick yeah. up. Well, I, I think the, the, the larger point was when, we when just, conditioning a project like right. this to look at, at some of those things that may have been a problem in the past as to yeah. what's actually out there. Um, so we're, we're happy to look at that. Yeah, but and especially if we make a trip out there to see what's existing, what we can yeah. see and or yeah, I just brought it up because this is not unprecedented in Volvo. No, no, <laughs> I was right. going to say we've seen it many places. So basically, we, we have to go take a look at what kind of Rips, um, historical things are there, you know. Yeah. And just yeah. anything that can be pulled out, we got to work with the developers and pull it out. Yeah. yeah. And everything yeah. That there's certain things that we can list or yeah. see and see if there's there's something. Right. right. Really we can put that on the agenda as soon as when the snow melts, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, we'll be, yeah, as long as we see what we get tonight. But that, so we're still, in my mind, we're, still, we're talking about. Just ending the trail at the end of that berm over there and not going up yeah, by that for now. Yeah, for uh, now. yeah, for now. I mean, that's and a little trying to can. figure out a trail that went that through, that through, through that way. Right, because okay. the back end. Right. Yeah. So that makes sense. I mean, this is the open space we're trying to get people to, to be go able to get to. out yeah. to, right? Right. And right. Hopefully eventually across, but that's beside the point. Right. Um, and that would accomplish that, right? It right. would kind of cut off this end, but everybody here would at least have access to it. Right. And we can always do something with that end yeah. in the future if it arrives. Right, happens. right. As opposed to... Yeah, yeah, like you said, putting it in somebody's backyard, which yeah. is very difficult. That's what I do. All right. So that's it. I mean, yeah, the only thing to be aware of is, you know, obviously um, we're trying to finalize the subdivision plans, which which is why I think they wanted us to condition this on working it out now to get those easements on there. Mm -hmm. I mean, the event that, and let's just say they get a road in and three months from now, you know, these lots sell, you know, now we no longer have that control to kind of come in and put an easement on. So you just want to make right. everybody aware of that so we're going to right. come back at it and all of a sudden, oh, wait a minute, we're going to try to bring this in. No. So, so even, if there, was an easement, it out. Yeah. even so if there was an easement on it, it doesn't necessarily mean we have to put a trail in there. Is that what you're saying? Uh, not was say, saying it, but, but you, you could. But it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, technically, if, you, if you're going to put an easement there, I mean, we're kind of back to the same concerns. Right. Yeah. I think either either you're going to put a trail there or not. I, mean, I think just figure it out. Right? So here's the other question. Outside of Bettinger's property, because we haven't had, no one's had those conversations with that property owner and not going to assume anything. Um, so say we do the car path or we do the entrance off of behind this lot. Um, do you have a better suggestion to reach the, on, as far as reaching the Danforth open space? Aside from coming out on 85 yeah. and going in, which is possible as well. Does it extend all the way back to this? Is it all the way back? Can it just come down so at the back of these lots? Yeah, the challenge is there's off no reason the, solution. Oh, it a million different ways. I mean, obviously, you could come down along here, which, you know, this house is in the front. Even this one, I mean, you can maybe be 50 feet in their backyard. But the challenge gets when you get over here, because this is the open space. Right. So. Yeah, but, but we're trying to connect down to, down to this to open space, space, too, right? Which we're one? We're trying to connect to this open space. Yeah, yeah. so that's what was he was saying. Come down this open here. space. Yeah. Right, so if you, if and this is our open space. Yeah. So the only way to get there is we've we got to come through. So, you know, this isn't bad, but as you start getting here, and particularly okay. right there, I mean, you're basically... What's this? That's, that's that. It's a separate piece. Yeah. Separate piece yeah. of land. It's not yeah. under our control. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now, we, we wouldn't be able to come out onto the cul-de-sac right there? You could. And then redirect. Oh, oh, like coming here, I see what I was just... Yeah. yeah. I mean, this isn't... I mean, you got the fire cistern here. Part of me feels like then two. You, then you could come down. And we'll, you know, talk it's all it's all like it's all neighbors, right? That are going to be using these paths. 
be anybody. Yeah. Potentially. But it's not likely that somebody not from the neighborhood is going to come down here to the cul-de-sac to, I, I don't know. So I feel like if it's coming off the cul-de-sac and it's in somewhat close proximity to a house in the subdevelopment, it's likely that somebody in the subdevelopment is using it. Right. Somebody, you know, that you may know or I don't know. I feel like it's not as invasive as the guy in the back. Some okay. random person coming through your side yard. I would agree with that. And even with, if we were to put one or two parking spaces, if we are going to go with the cart path versus this, um, you're limiting it to how many unknown people are going to be as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think if, if you're going to, and it makes sense to put a turn off here, a parking area, clean this area up, you know, you're, you're going to get people from outside the development. Right. You know, you're gonna right. come up and you're probably gonna have a loop that kinda of comes around if sure. someone wants to walk their dog, just hike, you know, whatever it is. Now the challenge is how do we get these together? That's where I Yeah, and I feel like that's a long conversation with the person who owns this and right. they'd be able to give us some sort of easement even if they hug to a certain extent. That's why I was thinking just kind of cross diagonally across yeah. it, but you know that's we're following the property. Even if, line. Yeah, even yeah. if they wanted just to follow it along the back, right, and give us enough room. Is there a sidewalk on this road? Yes. Is yeah. Well, yeah, so, so, like this, yeah. yeah. so they, I mean, as you look at this, I mean, if, if we do something like this, now we're talking about impacting one, two, three, four lots. And yet they're buying into it, but I guess the, the, the risk would be that, you know, it, it's going to, it could detract some people from that area. So, you know, maybe if you looked at that, I mean, if they came right through here, I mean, we could look at some, I'd have to go back and talk to them and look at other options. There's no way of connecting you. You're coming in here. Yep. There's no way of getting from here to the road. No, no, that's yeah. that's actually not that bad. I mean, you, you come can, in through here, and then you kind of same thing. Then you, you know, some way of crossing. You have to be the impacting these two lots of them by coming down here. Really, the, the worst one's probably it's that one, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Which is farther away than that one. It is. Yeah. You didn't buy into it. Yeah. Or, yeah. It's and actually, you're you're, you're doing yeah. two houses on this. Yeah. Is when you're only doing one, you come in back in over here. Mm -hmm. The road has a sidewalk on it, so even no matter where you brought it in, they can walk up the sidewalk. Yeah. As far as the trail mm -hmm. goes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you could bring it in this way and walk up the sidewalk and in. Sure. So keep that one, and then add one. And eliminate that. Yeah, I think we're talking about yeah. So we're talking about that way. Okay. Cut it across. Cut it across. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. I, I mean, I, I, yeah. I mean, that, yeah. that sounds like a good solution to me. Yeah. I mean, is that something we can mark out as? A Six and seven, uh, and probably a little piece of uh, four. Oh, sorry, four, five, six, and then twelve. So it's coming along the back a lot. Four, five, six. Yeah. Crossing the road, you know, maybe going 
over lot 12. Okay. Is that a property line on lot 12 or just through it? Well, if we came down, there's an access road here. Okay. But it will be. That's all on lot 12. Oh, so just same sort of using the access road that's going to already be there. Yeah, to connect in. That's that's the uh, spillway that release on right. the lot. Right. Yeah. This is lot twelve. This one is yeah. this one here. Yeah. This house. Yep. Oh, I see how it's he gets, gets, in. He gets in. Yeah. <laughs> no, I see how he gets out. I was just trying to figure yeah. out how he get into the. He comes around off of the well, roadway. She has a driveway with this guy. Mm -hmm. right? So this is going to be a big, this here's a big three on one slope right. going down. Right. Four on one slope. It's all going to be grass, but you just do a trail through there. Just grass, just mow it probably. Mm -hmm. Is the property lined with stone walls? Uh, there are stone walls out here. This is all stone. It's all stone walls, so we're running in by the line with stone wall. Yep. yep. So probably the best thing would be Anybody, if anybody wants to go to the site, I can get the applicant out there. We can walk these areas and kind of hash it out. That would work, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, do we have a good idea of yeah where? And it sounds like we definitely want to try to come in off of here. Uh, but yeah, if we can set up a time, I don't know. It doesn't sound like tonight's going to be too bad. Not wood. Yeah, still want still to drive up there. Yeah. yeah. It's nice and hard though. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Yes. Yeah, you can, can still see a nice trail through. Yeah. <coughs> Might actually make it clear. Um, so we want to do <laughs> a site visit. And I can email everyone if you want to be included in it as well in terms of availability or a site visit. Yeah. It's um, like well, whenever. Yeah. What time next Tuesday night? For? No, no, next Tuesday night. Next Tuesday. Yeah. Good hour. Is that something that commissions come to a condition? Uh, I mean, we're not. We're going to show yeah. easements where the trail goes. I mean, it's, it's just whether or not you want to leave the, the hearing open. Uh, when's our next meeting? The third. Does that throw your schedule off? So I'm tempted to somewhat leave it open just to see what sure. we yeah. see out and there in case there's anything major. The third yeah. of April. April. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. as long as that thing sure. happens, that's not a big deal. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're in the appeal period right now on the plane. So, so, yeah, I mean, it's going to bump it out a little bit. Um, in which case, but then once we get this in close, I mean, obviously, no issues keeping it open. Conditions, everything gets going and times out because we'll have a appeal period on that as well. So yeah. I know they're looking to obviously start road construction this spring. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. that way we can, we can look at the other spots. See, you know, on paper it goes, oh my god, it's in this backyard, but you know, tree line and whatever else, it might yeah. look totally different when we're out there. I would agree on that, so I think just makes a little bit of all. Yeah. So. Right, I agree with that. So if you're fine continuing, yeah, we need this. Okay. Uh, all right, in that case, unless there's any other questions right now, I'm going to make a motion that we uh, continue the public hearing for 258 Hudson Road till our next meeting, April 3rd, 2018, at 7 p.m. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So continue. Thank you. What time is the sidewalk on Tuesday? Um, 5 5.30. Okay, no, I'm good. I can do it earlier. 15, I can do it. 15. Tuesday, the 27th, right? Yeah. 5.15. Mm -hmm. Where are we meeting? Uh, probably straight in the driveway. Yeah. Kind of take a look at this. You can walk down through this way to get, get up to that area.
Sharp are the uh, so 777 with the tin, right? Conservation Commission will now hold a public hearing under the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40, and under the Bolton Weapon Bylaw, Chapter 233. Consider a notice of intent uh, submitted by Michael Burke for the proposal of a barrage at the property located at 77 Harvard Road for the public meeting to be held this evening. Rebecca, is there an update? Uh, there is not, okay. aside from the request for the continuance. Okay. We'll be here in full force. That would be the next vote. <laughs> April 3rd? April 3rd. Okay. In that case, I'd like to make a motion that we continue the public hearing for 777 Harvard Road until our uh, April 3rd, 2018 meeting at 7.15, yep. I'll say. Uh, do I hear a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So continued. So let me stand. Right. Um, Jeff, did you have the second on the first? He did. I only have the second on the second. Yes. I actually have holding on to that one for hours, waiting for somebody to do it. Okay. The Bolton Conservation Commission will now hold a public hearing under the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40. And under the Bolton Button Bylaw, Chapter 233, to consider a notice of intent submitted by Sean McCarthy for the proposal to resurface a pre existing maintained field area and construct a patio at rear of home. The public meeting to be held this evening. I don't know. But so I was actually out on site prior to this being filed um, to basically just look at the property because. Um, Sean has proposed to put up a garage that's actually outside of our jurisdictional area, um, but now has come to find that it's a little difficult to get equipment to the garage. Yeah, you can't even drive in there. It's all muddy. Yep. It's just because it's, it's got like a three-inch layer of topsoil on it. Yeah. So anytime yeah, there's like a rain or snow, snow, it just you drive in there with a car or a truck and you're just sunk out of sight. And I did get the. Um, the home business permit or whatever they say that's so I, I have i can keep two trucks there and two employees there but i can't it doesn't make sense for me to build a garage if we can't get to it yeah, actually. <laughs> and there is a current like a i think you said rebecca a car they call it like a cart path yeah. that goes from the road to the field access yeah. but then from there just grass so in that image the red truck is on the cart path yeah this, you may be able to see it better i don't know if you want to pass that down to Lori. But this is their lot here. And the back of the hill is all field. It does slope down a bit. It's pretty level. And this is, the, this is like the second driving car path, or whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. A perennial stream. Goes to about here. Mm -hmm. And then it just all just. East end? Yeah, this is okay. East end. And where's the garage? The garage is going to be in this corner. Okay. The, I mean, this is the stream down here. Got it. I did a, mesh, a rough measurement with my wheel. And it's like the garage is like 280 feet mm -hmm. from. Yeah. Anything. So it's just it's resurfacing just just the width of a of the drive. Oh. Well, it actually, do you have, like this, I did a low drive. Sorry, I'm, oh, okay. I'm not an artist. Gotcha. But like a little bit more because I Got I it. need to park trailers, mm -hmm. my trailers and trucks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just like, and I don't know even how much of this is actually in gotcha. the 200 buff 200 foot buffer. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the scale is on there. And then he's also working. And there's a man. There's a man-made pond here. Well, that's okay. what the previous owner said. It was like a little pond right here. Yeah. This used to be a nursery supposedly years ago. Okay. It used to be called East End Nursery. You're on the left hand side of the property, right? So uh, Harris Farm is out here. Oh, I'm not sure. Wait, wait. Is, oh, that's my house. There's a new development behind these now. If that helps you at all. I love what he's done too. So oh, I was just trying to figure out where it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pond's right here, and then the stream runs like 
in this tree line almost. This it goes the, this way. This mm -hmm. is the garage. The garage. That's out of. That's out of our jurisdiction. Right. area. The shaded no. area was where I was recommending or asking for permission to resurface. To resurface. Go through. Wait. So from here out, so you can see it better on this. I'm terrible at yeah, no, So <laughs> and he measured this as well, um, but from here over it's just under 300 feet and then obviously it starts to get close so but this is already a pre-existing car path yeah so we're trying to cover right we're basically trying to basically from here in and he wants to widen a little bit but again this is all level field in here and then it drops off in the man-made pond yeah it's all flat. Yeah. but even though it's man-made it's still jurisdictional yeah so. <laughs> and then the second thing right. not to overwhelm but behind the house i was Actually, this is a good view of right here. There's a deck right there. You can see the white railings. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was looking to do like some sort of like, there's no outdoor living space for like to sit with a table or chairs or anything. And that's what I do. I, I do this for a living. So I mean, even if it was permeable <laughs> pavers or yeah. something that was permeable, I mean, something where we could, I have two little boys. I'd like to have like an area we could sit there and have a fire or something. There's existing patios here that was here when I bought the house and walls. Um, I was just looking to do a small patio. Can you see the So in the, in the area that you're proposing to resurface, I understand obviously the cart path. Yep. So you're going to want to keep. So, part so it's, of the, it's in the 200 yeah, but, but um, are you going to be revegetating the other area that you resurface, or no? The, the this area on the field. Yes. What do you mean by that? So, I know in your proposal you put some sort of pervious uh, material, pervious material, natural gravel, yep. something permeable, um, and more solid base. And that is, I guess, my question is: Is that over the entirety? of the area you're proposing to resurface or just over the portion you'll be regularly driving on and then I the think source. over the the area that I'm suggesting to resurface. Okay. Um because like I need space to like turn around with a truck and a trailer. Sure. So like if I just go in with like a ten or twelve foot wide, yeah. I'll be stuck once I go outside that twelve foot. Sure. I did take this picture, I don't know if this helps you guys. It just this is what's happening now. It's just yeah. a money. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, it's me, the previous homeowner, and I haven't had to do it yet because I moved in November, but he was he was maintaining it, mowing it once a month. Right. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. He didn't use it for anything. It was just an open field. Any initial thoughts? Can I just take a peek? Yeah. Safe, is it? Yeah, I feel, I... It all seems to make logical sense, sure. but yeah, if we can get a chance no, just to get out yeah. there and take a look and yep. see where everything's going to go, I think yep. we should give it a Absolutely. All right. So when, because it doesn't seem like we're going to get a ton of snow, but it should be warmer <laughs> next week. Well, they're actually saying another snowstorm next week. Shh. Yeah, they are. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday at 515. Um, yeah. <laughs> it probably will be, too. Um, do we want to try and schedule one now and then reschedule if necessary? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Yeah. Can you just, um, I was going to say, do we just want to tackle that one Tuesday evening as well? But I don't know if we'll have time. Oh, that would be difficult. And then yeah, yeah, I think that would be longer. Yeah. Is there another yeah, thing? Yeah, that's a lockout. Uh -oh. I mean, I'd have to work, it's fine. Say, yeah, what? Wednesday, so next, Wednesday, next Wednesday, same Wednesday. thing if it's yeah. at night. Yeah. For some reason, uh, it's, the sun hits the field pretty well, so it melts the snow pretty quick. I believe like on the car path going in, you can see the whole car path right now. Yeah. 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 So the, the following night, Wednesday? Does that work for you? Yeah, I'm, Wednesday night? I'm always there. Okay. This is my off season. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're getting ready. Um, all right, 515 again. Does that seem Works. to work for people? Mm -hmm. I'm you stand, right? Yep. Uh, so that said, do you mind if we continue until our next meeting? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time. Oh, no, I appreciate you coming in. Uh,
I'd like to make a motion that we continue the public hearing for 100 East End Road until our next meeting, April 3rd at 7.30 p.m. Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. So continue. All right. So we'll see you next Wednesday. We'll go out and take a look. All right. What time did you say? 5.15. Uh, 5.15. Okay. All right. And I'll send you an email. You will? Okay. Information as well. All right. Yep. Well, I'll set. You are all set. Yeah. Thank you very Thanks. much. All right. Have a nice we'll night. Yeah. See you. Yes, you're going to have this. Thanks. Is there anything else you'd like to have? No, but I don't know why I print out. Have any cash? I don't think that. So, 515. Everybody have a chance to look at the minutes from our last meeting? 515. Okay. Take a chance. motion that we approve the minutes for our uh, March 6, 2018 meeting as submitted. Do you want to hear a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Upcoming meeting dates, we know April 3rd, and we were trying to figure out if we were going to switch to the 24th after that. Yeah, I think that, that. that works for everyone. project updates unfortunately we our project for Bower Springs is not um, applicable I guess to the small communities grant after discussion with the individual that's in charge of the grant awarding process because although the other aspects of the grant may be relative to one parcel, the planning side of it is not. Um, it has to be town-wide, regional, on that sort of a scale. So revisiting different projects, but unfortunately we'll be missing out on this grant round. Um, but we will be hopefully applying to the trails, um, recreational trails program grant the title of it for the same project. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but that is it. Aside from once the ground thaws, there will be a dog waste uh, station at Fife Drive as requested. Very nice. The dwarf? It's in my office. Uh, <laughs> Good science dog waste, I hope. But no. <laughs> so we should be able to put that in the ground. Saying that. I, said that, I said that two weeks ago, yeah. yeah. Um, birthday or World Water Day? Um, World Water Day is March 22nd, we, tomorrow. <laughs> we will be hosting an event, co-hosting event with the library. 
So we'll be reading a story, or I'll be reading a story, and then doing a STEM learning activity. So if you haven't signed up, I don't know if there's still room, feel free. It's yeah. fun. Four spots left. Along. <laughs> there were hours ago, so who knows? Yeah. yeah I was say, what what time tomorrow? Uh, three. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Earth Day, we will be doing some form of a planting along with the story reading um, early, though. So on April, 20, April 20th, it's a Friday, and that will be at 10 a.m. Also at 10 a.m. this Friday, we have a trail walk on Gold Lake. Anyone would like to join? I wanted to ask about that. What are, um, what did, I haven't been there before. Mm -hmm. What is the footing like? What are the trails? Is it going to be kind of icy, snowy? Well, um, I will be it out. It depends. Is it? Really? It depends. There is one area that's pretty steep. Okay. Um, but aside from that, it's pretty gradual. Um, the last time I was there, there was significant snow cover, so we are encouraging people to bring either wear high boots with gaiters mm -hmm. or snowshoes if you want. Just wear boots and snow pants. Okay. Um, but we're welcoming other footwear. Mm -hmm. um, and I will be out on the trail, hopefully I was supposed to be out today, but I get out there tomorrow afternoon to basically see exactly what the train's like and send out an email okay, if there's awesome. anything too treacherous, but I think it'll be okay though. <laughs> the challenge, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> How many yeah. people are going to be? It's a mystery. <laughs> Last time we had a, 20, a yeah. good group, we had, uh, I think we had 11 or 12 people attend and it, that's right around the perfect size. Yeah. It's manageable, um, but we'll see. It's always the more the merrier. So. Any other fun updates we get going? Salamanders and amphibians <laughs> yes, are yes, coming. Big night. They may be crossing the road, I'm guessing, or starting to be more mobile. I'm assuming next Friday, if the temperatures hold up to what they're uh, to predicting. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be our next rainstorm, so we'll see. But that's the best I can do in predicting. I can't really predict when they're going to be more active. There's a pretty interesting article in the Audubon uh, thing that they send me from Drumlin Farms about pearl pools. And they have people going out staring at the ones over Drumlin Farms. Oh, yeah. Watching oh, yeah. them. Yeah. I did talk to What's the name of Rowan? You have extra time yeah. now. You can yeah. join I, I have no time. You can I join that you. crew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The big watching crew. Salamanders. Well, the, the big night crew. Well, the, the big night crew. Salamanders is, made. Rowan still put together fun. a crew. <laughs> Yeah. Does she she still does the big night cream. I know. Email you know, chain. We did it with the it kids was, once. It's great. I wanted to do that. It's great. So yeah. Actually, I, we'll get I, Jess going to be out there this year. I did that with my daughter Allison up in Vermont one time where they stood out and then waved down cars so they could stay there. Yeah, so thanks for right yeah. yeah. the road. We'll get you back up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll see. Um, all right. Any other business that is pressing before the blizzard hits? <laughs> Jeff, shoveling tips? None. Any? Don't safe, strain your back. Safe and, all right. Ask the neighbors. In that case, I would like to make a motion that we officially close the March 21st, 2018 meeting of the Bolton Conservation Commission. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good night, BATV.